I was at the Franklin in eighth grade. Eighth grade science. Mr. Buterex, eighth grade science class. And the, uh, the Franklin had an intercom system. And the bulletin came across, and he reached up and he turned the intercom up. And I suppose it was Walter Cronkite's voice, I suppose. I don't know. He said the president had been shot. And then uh, followed up with the, the, the president was, uh, was dead. She asked, she says, uh, Kennedy's been shot, and I said, okay, what's the joke? But when I got to my class, it's no joke. It was real, very mm. unsettling. <laughs> and the announcement, the announcement came over the intercom, intercom then? Intercom, and, yeah, and we didn't do much that day. We just kind of sat there and did our crying, and... Do you, do you remember your teacher's reaction if that was a shock to... About the same, you know, the crying and, and just shock. Uh, that, that's about all I can say. It was just a shock for everybody. And then when you got home, it was nonstop television coverage. Right, right. It was. And we got to eat in the living room because my dad and mom wanted to watch it. And, and we never ate in the living room. It was always the kitchen. So that was kind of a first, too, so... Right. Do you remember watching the, the funeral procession? Yes, yeah, because I think they let school out. Was it the next for the couple of days there, and then we watched we watched the whole thing. It just it was sad. It was just too bad. Just he was such a nice man. I think he could have done a lot for us if that hadn't happened. Yeah, it's interesting to think what might have been if his presidency had continued then. You think right. it would have been oh, a different... Oh, I think it would have been a different country myself, but, you know, I just got cut down in the prime of his life is from what I can 